All right, so when displaying on a TV, uh, in my humble opinion, what we should be doing is displaying the opposite of what we see right now. So high pick, high white count on a TV is really hard to look at. It, just as it's kind of hard for me to look at this right now because it's just so bright. You don't, you don't focus on any of the image because you're only seeing the white. So we're gonna take that and reverse it out a little bit. And in order to do that, we need layers. So right now, these are, this is all my elements. And I wanna make a background. Okay, I'm going to lock out my elements and put my background in the back and be on the background and we're going to insert a shape we'll insert a rectangle we'll make it as big as the screen go to its properties which are pulled up on my other monitor and let's actually uh, fill this color with black. Okay. Now, I'm going to wheel mouse down until my eyes um, relax. And this is kind of a hard thing to, to talk about, but so blur your vision <laughs> and get to a high white count and then just look until you your eyes just focus a little bit and relax and you're seeing about 50 to 70 percent gray and what's going to be fun is everybody's different but that's okay mine 70 percent Now, if we wanted to display these as a group, that would be ridiculous to have a whole bunch of different grays, right? So I would say, let's choose uh, some happy medium, like 80%. Okay, all right, now, let's lock that out. Go back to your elements. Let's go here, go to colors. We want the colors to be white. Oops. I'm, actually, I would just want the text to be white. So I highlight the text. Go to color. White. And then we'll grab these elements. We don't want any lines, so we have to check that. Hit F5. And this is what you're going to be displaying on the screen. I would say the high contrast grayscale needs to be upped a little bit as far as the how big the words are. And there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go 81 or 82 for the line fixing there. Separate that name out. So now you're focused more on the artwork. All right, when we save this out, we're going to save it. We can export as. And we're gonna have to export this as an image in order to for the TV to understand it. You know, you can't have a document that is a Word doc or a, a PDF or any of those things. We're gonna have to use JPEG.
JPG, not JPEG, JPG. And we want the resolution pretty high. So let's say the resolution is going to be like 300. But that's 8,000 by 4,500. So DPRI, dots per inch, is already kind of stated in 1920 by 1080. It's already there. But I had to show you that. So you're times in 1920 by 1080 by 3 in this case, which is fine for paper. But on a, that's an insane amount of pixels. If it shows 72, notice it's, it's exactly 1920 by 1080. All right, so we want 1920 by 1080. Just know that dots per inch exist on paper right now. Okay, let's hit OK. And let's look at that, that, that error. So look at my export directory. This is my before and after number one. We're going to put TV. And put first name, last name. I like putting these underscores here because in most cases what will happen, uh, they're a little bit more user friendly to the software. If we have spaces in there, some software don't understand that. That's why we use underscores. So first name, last name, TV1. Copy that. Hmm. Oh, it just wants to fold. There we go. All right, let's go get that and rename it then. Desktop. So right here, this is the document it saved. I want to paste that in. And let's click on it with anything. You can click on it with preview, but you're, if you're on a Mac, you're going to click on it with something else. I think it has a preview. There we go. Cool. And it looks kind of pixelated sometimes, but again, it's a perfect 1920 by 1080 on the screen so you're not going to see that. And if you were to make it 300 dots per inch, what would have happened is it would have made your image even more pixelated. So you have to kind of abide by the, the whatever resolution you started out with. Especially when you, when you put these elements in, they were a, a size, and if you went above the resolution and typed in 300, it would have made it more pixelated, because you can't take a small image and blow it up. It's impossible. You can do it, but it looks ugly. So that's your layout. Now you need to make the other two. And the other two, this one's color to high contrast. The other one's color to black and, or, yeah, black and white. And the other, last one is color to three color. So make all three of them. And in that folder, you should have all three. Labeled first name, last name, two. Labeled first name, last name, three. These are what I really want out of the challenge. We'll be turning these in on the last level, or this level here, basically at the end. So for now, keep them in a folder. And let's move on to the next uh, challenge.